Në vakësh, jelsh gushtën di dhe unë pësje këtë valë, vërë zhvakë, u zhvite elsh për kënenjsh. Të të gjëzhanësh e bë sempre para asurësh. Ko familje? Leva zë familje vajtë? Yes, 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 everybody comes. Në principë e të fisil, a ficar kështëmada, porque vida me dhe mëjtë. Aos 20 anos, depois do primeiro álbum, decide incluir na digressão a ilha que defende como sua e dá um concerto em Vila Franca do Campo. Fundamento canal e é muito portuguesa, muito nacional e que curte imensos Açores e Vila Franca do Campo. A minha prima, assim, nunca lhe pus num, num graça assim, me dizes porque ela quando vem aqui nunca, nunca tratou de fazer isso. Está com a gente como e trata-me como oito primo qualquer. Ela é muito, uh, como é que se diz, muito interessada nas coisas. Ela gosta muito de ver uh, os postos que estão para aí. Com a idade do primo Frederico, Nelly já passava as férias de verão entre os pastos e as praias açorianas. A ligação com a natureza deu os seus frutos mais tarde. Gostava de explorar mais e ver mais, a conhecer mais os meus risos. Eu tenho sonhos também de talvez recordar ou... Fazer uma homenagem, qualquer, não sei, se é com música, ou a escrever um livro que fala sobre. Um, um, of my memories, you know? So, of, of São Miguel. Um, I saw that my, my roots in the Azores go back, you know, 600 years, Azorian, and then, you know, Portuguese, so. Yeah, there's a lot of history there that I that I haven't completely uncovered. We were lucky, I think. We grew up in a really nice city called uh, Victoria. Um, but yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah, immigrants definitely struggle. Definitely, it's a struggle that goes on every day in every country in the world. And I think um, I'm really proud. I'm really proud to be Portuguese Canadian. And I think um, I don't know. I've got a lot of friends, and and I think. Friends that are also Portuguese Canadian and have really created a nice life for themselves. I think the Portuguese spirit is kind of um, indestructible. I think it's so strong and creative. I think um, the youth definitely could be more engaged, I think, like just in general. I think um, the sky's the limit. The Spanish just happened uh, was like magic you know I just ended up in Miami recording a lot of my last English album and I, I fell in love with the city I fell in love with my husband I fell in love with, and it was all in Spanish yeah actually for example ganhar o Latin Grammy foi surpresa porque yeah just receber o apoio dos meus colegas you know it's just or meus colegas sorry <laughs> was just um, Uh, I, and I felt very proud and it was a great moment and I just, you know what it is for me, I just love world music. I don't just like pop music, you know, pop music's fine and I like it and it's fun and I do it. <laughs> For example, Caetano Veloso, yeah, he's my favorite um, because he's not just a pop artist. He's also, um, he's avant-garde, he's tropicalia, he's, he can do, you know, classical styles, he can sing in Spanish, he's just so diverse and that's what I aspire to, I just want to be eclectic. You're not voting for anybody, you're not really voting for a person, you're voting for you, you're voting for the youth, you're voting for our demographic, you're saying, yes we do vote. It's an expression just like anything, you know, like I write a song, it's an expression of my soul, I vote and it's an expression of my citizenship. New album on lifestyle, I'm gonna be, um, it's, I don't know, there's some hip-hop on there, there's some R&B, it's, 
I can't really get the urban out of me, you know? I think I'm very much an urban artist at the end of the day. I started off urban when I was a teenager, just kicking around in Toronto. I did trip hop and house and drum and bass, and I used to rap, and it just it never left me. I just, it's, that's my comfort zone. I like just absorb things, you know? I'm just like a sponge, and, and I think I'm a professional sponge. <laughs> For the questions. <laughs>